So Animal Crossing New Horizons has finally released on the Nintendo Switch. This is the first Animal Crossing I'm personally playing in my life, uh, and I'm very excited to be doing it. So I'm going through it live on twitch.tv slash phillybeatsyou. So check me out there if you want to watch the live streams and hang out and have a great time. And if you enjoy these Animal Crossing type videos, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll be doing more tutorials like this. So just like a Pokemon games exist with time travel, you can also essentially time travel in Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is awesome because everyone's going to be starting off in the spring in this game. Uh, currently, it is March 19th as I'm recording this video. So here we are, March 19th. It is spring in the Animal Crossing land. And maybe you just don't like this season. So, well, guess what? We're going to be going to different seasons. So... I picked Northern Hemisphere when I started off this game. Uh, so if you pick Northern Hemisphere, I can give you some dates that I'm familiar with with Animal Crossing. So uh, pay attention to the screen as we're going to be dropping these dates here. So spring is going to last from about February 28th to May 31st. That's when you will noticeably see the spring season and how it is. Um, once we get into summer, anything after uh, May, basically June 1st to August 31st, That'll be your summertime in Animal Crossing. If we're talking about autumn, we're going to be going and going from September 1st to about November 30th. The hot spot for me is November 25th. I think of Thanksgiving and that's when I get that date on here. Uh, and winter is going to be lasting from beginning of December all the way to about, well, you said about February 24th, right? You're going to go to your settings. System settings, and once you go to system settings, you're gonna go all the way down to system, go down to the date and time, right? Uh, right now we're on 319 2020. We're gonna move ourselves all the way to December. So uh March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, uh I'm 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 thinking Christmas. I I'm like Christmas. So I'll go 1225 uh 2020 so we get there we go back to the game right very simple then you're going to take your other joy con hit the minus button and it's going to say ready to wrap things up for now you're going to hit save and end this should essentially just close the game but not you don't have to shut down your game completely all you got to do is just wait for that you're going to reboot onto the starting screen uh for animal crossing and you should notice the season change which should happen any second now any moment now. All right, it's, it's, it's taken. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so now you see we are in the winter. Uh, very noticeable. And uh, when we load up into the game, Tom Nook should probably say something. I don't know if it, he's cold. Tom Nook is now wearing a sweater and a jacket. So you know the season has changed. 1229 this happy friday december 25th 2020 i can't say i have much in the way of news report today and you say snowy days like today do chill you right to the core but it says snowflakes dancing on the sprees is pleasant to behold and then you can scoop up snowflakes and make a uh snowflake wreath on the door which uh as you can see in this video i have already done when we started it because i've been time jumping that's why i made this tutorial <laughs> and uh there's the wreath on my door now your character's gonna come out extremely like messed up and dizzy and confused because he hasn't been in the game for that amount of time it's not considered consecutive logins when you jump multiple days in animal crossing so there's a snowflake wreath all right let's go into the fall right let's let's go to fall so all right guys we're back it is now the fall as you can see there are trees in the background with red foliage falling down which means here we are we have officially time skipped backwards into the fall uh as far as i can see there are no consequences in game for doing that because you have moved time and there we are we have popped out my character has gone back in time look at the scenery it is fall there are leaves falling everywhere and it makes a big uh freaking difference if you're is if that's your aesthetic and you kind of want to live in the fall all right, so that's essentially it, guys. Again, uh, on the screen, I will show the dates uh, that you have to pay attention to down below, somewhere on the screen, um, that you can switch your switch time. So there we go, guys. That's pretty much it on how to time skip and date skip. Like I said, the most important thing to note about this video is changing dates and moving from time to time in big, big numbers. 
does not count as consecutive login. So please be very careful of this if you're trying to get a consecutive login bonus. One more important thing that you want to be aware of in every season in Animal Crossing is that you might get different insects that show up. You might get different fish that show up and you will get different craft craft recipes that will show up. So make sure you're paying attention to all three of those things and acquire what you need within every season. Uh, that's it. I'm streaming Animal Crossing on twitch.tv slash phillyb2, so go check that out. All links will be down in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Peace. Take care. Bye. Have a great time. And, and, and enjoy your Animal Crossing. Thank <laughs> you.